In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a basic composition using the free editing software Splice, available from the App Store for iPad and iPhone. Open the free app on your device. Click the plus sign in the top right corner of the screen to create a new project. Select the clips you want to import and add them into your project. You can choose to add music now, but for this video I'm going to skip this step and add it later on. Give your project a name. We're going to keep it simple and call it New Project, but call yours something more memorable as it's easier to find in future. Once that's complete, you can hit Done in the top right corner of the screen and you're ready to begin the edit. The screen is split into three sections. There's the monitor at the top where you can view your film as it takes shape. There's the timeline in the middle where you can rearrange and edit clips and the scroll at the bottom which is used to scrub along the video monitor and timeline. To edit an individual clip, press it once and select Edit Video from the menu. To trim a clip, drag either ends of the blue highlighted bar to the points in which you want the video to start and finish. Then review your changes in the video monitor. Return to the project screen using the arrow in the top left corner of the screen. You can scroll along the timeline by dragging clips left or right. To rearrange a clip in the timeline, hold it down until the timeline zooms out and then drag the clip into its desired position. Edit each clip to the length that you want until you're happy with the sequence. Splice includes some basic yet really cool effects which let you change the look of your video. You can slow down or speed up clips, create text and add movement to still images, known as the Ken Burns effect. Click the icon in between the clips to add or change the transition. The one you choose will depend on the style of film you're making. You can adjust the length of time the transition lasts using the slider. A general rule would be that if you're in doubt about which one to use, then don't use one at all. Return to the project screen to review your progress. Once you're happy with your video sequence, you may want to add some audio. Select the audio tab and it will take you to the timeline where you can add, edit and even record more audio. I'm going to add a music track by pressing the plus button underneath the video clips. You can choose a song that Splice provide or one from your iTunes library. You can preview the song using the play button and if you're happy, click on it and import it into your sequence. Splice will trim the audio automatically to the length of your video sequence, so don't worry about adjusting the length of your music track. To adjust the volume or remove the audio from your video clips entirely, select the blue bar immediately underneath and drag the slider accordingly. You may want to add a fade in or out. Review your film and if you're happy, it's time to save and upload it. To save your finished film, click the icon in the top right corner of the screen and select Save Video from the menu. Choose the highest resolution possible, which in this case is HD 1080p. Don't be tempted to lock your device or exit the application whilst exporting. Once it's finished exporting, you're done and ready to upload. Close Splice and open up YouTube. Hit the Upload button and select your video. YouTube gives you the option to trim your clip before uploading. You can skip this step using the Next button in the top right corner of the trim window. Change the title of the film and add a description if you wish. A unique title will help to make your video be found more easily on YouTube, but try and keep it short and memorable. Hit the Upload button and sit back while YouTube works its magic. That's just how easy it is to create great short films using free software. That's it. You're done.